Hello, my name is Adrian Richards. I'm a plastic surgeon and surgical director of Aurora Clinics. This is the second video in our series of videos uh, answering questions asked by patients and on forums about PIP implants. As you may know, there's been a big issue with them recently in the press, um, and uh, what I'm aiming to do in these videos is really run through some of the questions we're asked um, so uh, to try and give you a bit more clarity on what is quite uh, uh, cloudy and um, not that clear subject. So I've done two questions before in the previous video, now we're on to question three. I'm not sure what type of implants I have, but I have a feeling they're PIP. Is there a way to check without surgery? Well, you can't tell whether they're PIP by looking at them, no plastic surgeon can tell. What you need to do is contact your original surgeon or the company that did your surgery um, they should be able to tell you really very quickly whether you have PIP implants. They will have records, really they should get back to you within a couple of days um, about the type of implant. So if you haven't got PIPs, nothing to worry about, but really good to keep a record of your implants. So when you do see a surgeon or in, in the future, it's really helpful for us if you can you know, give us some information about the type of implant you had. Um, so always good to, to, to get that information if you don't have it from whoever did your surgery. Um, so if, however, your company's gone out, of, I saw a lady yesterday, the company she had the breast enlargement with is no longer about, she can't locate them. So unfortunately, no, if you can't get the information from the um, uh, company, there is really no way of finding out the breast implants you had. Um, and scans and ultrasounds or MRIs unfortunately won't be able to uh, tell you um, the only way really is to uh, remove the implants and on the back of the implants PIP will be etched on the back of the implants. So you can find out, we can find out by taking the implants out, but unless you can find out from the company, I'm afraid uh, it might be rather difficult for you. Um, and I would encourage anyone having breast augmentations to get information. We would give uh, people using, if we use a neighbour implant, we give them like a credit card with their implant details in which they can keep for life. And we've also got their records, so anyone um, phoning in, we can tell immediately uh, which implant they have if they've lost their card. Okay, next question, number four, this is a biggie. What are the health risks associated with PIP implants? Well, this is a very, very difficult one. There is no final, no real proof or evidence that there are any uh, health risks associated with PIP implants. What we know is that the silicone is not of the absolute highest quality. Um, it's probably slightly more prone to leaking. Um, and there have been suggestions that the implants may be related to cancer in a couple of cases in France. These are not proven. Um, so what are the health risks? Well, there's not an absolute you know, emergency health risk. It's not like you're going to get ill immediately. These implants have been in a long time. There haven't been any real uh, you know, thousands and thousands of cases or a lot of cases of illness associated with them. So they're relatively safe. However, we don't know whether there is a higher risk of cancer. We think there's a higher risk of leakage, but we're not you know, absolutely 100% uh, sure. Um, so we would generally recommend, if you have the implants, it will probably be a good thing to have them removed um, and possibly replaced with a really high quality implant, either from Allergan or Nagel. So, don't panic, it's, you know, you're not going to get acutely unwell. If you've got implants and you feel you've got uh, an illness that may be related to them, please contact us either by phone 01844 214362 or email us info at aurora-clinics.co.uk and we'll be absolutely delighted to uh, give you free confidential advice on the best way forward for you. Or come in and see us, we, we've uh, negotiated a special offer for patients with PIP implants because we realise you know, it's, it is a big, it's a big, big problem. You know, potentially a big problem. People are very worried. It's extra cost, particularly over the Christmas period. You know, so uh, we've negotiated a, a reduced surgical and hospital fee, and also a, a reduced anaesthetic fee of two thousand seven hundred pounds for removal of the implants, and three thousand two hundred pounds with um, removal and replacement. And if your implants are uh, ruptured, um, Nagel have very kindly agreed which is the top UK uh, uh, distributor of breast implants. And if, time, if you can prove or at surgery your implants are ruptured, Nagel will provide you with a free set of implants, um, uh, which, which are very high quality and which are the ones I tend to use anyway. 
So thanks very much for watching the video. I hope you found it informative. If you have got PIP implants and you're worried, please contact us. If you think you may have PIP implants, please find out, do some investigation, try and find out if you have got them. And if you can't be sure, again, you can come to us. We'll be delighted to give you some information and talk to you frankly and confidentially about the best way forward for you.